Hi, my name is Alex. Congratulations on purchasing your B6030 baler. In this video, we're gonna cover the basics of operating the baler as well as the unboxing. When operating your B6030 baler, we recommend using gloves and safety glasses during operation. When your baler is first delivered to your facility, begin by removing the plastic packaging around the machine. Check for any damage that the baler may have sustained during transport. Make note of it and reach out to your Brahmadon supplier. Upon receiving your baler, contact Brahmadon or your dealer for installation setup or installation instructions. A Brahmadon certified technician should install and hook up power on your baler. Make sure all necessary components are included in the baler. A hand wheel, wire hook, hardware, sample wire bundle, strapping sample rolls, tubing for the excess wire with hardware, breather cap. Once your baler has been completely installed, you're ready to set up your wire. Your B6030 baler allows for use of strapping or wire. This is the process to do it. To open baler doors, rotate the turnbuckle all the way. Make sure the turnbuckle is turned all the way open or closed during operation. Refer to the flashing light indicators to confirm. To start the process, feed the wire through the wire guide near the top of the machine. Hook the baling wire to the chamber wall and bring the wire down to the base of the machine. Make a 45 degree bend in the wire and hook the wire under the tab at the base of the machine. Pro tip, never put the loop end into the tab. Thread the wire into the wire guide at the base and continue feeding the wire into the groove along the chamber wall. Repeat this process for all six wire guides. If you prefer to use strapping, the strapping must be fed behind the machine through the half moon slots on each channel. Half moon on this side. Once you've fed the strapping on each channel, you will go to the front of the machine, pull the strapping through, create a loop at the end, and do the same process as the wire. Once your wire or strapping is set up, you can start loading your baler. The best way to make a dense, high quality bale is to not flatten boxes. Load on broken boxes into the chamber for optimal compaction. Continue to load your baler until the front orange indicator light starts to flash indicating that your bale is full. At this point, your bale is ready to eject. Rotate the turnbuckle all the way. Next, feed your bale hook into the ram to catch the wire on the back of the chamber wall.
pull it through the ram by hand. Once it is pulled through, attach it to the bottom loop end. Go through the loop end and pull it finger tight. Make sure there is no overlap on the top of the bale. Twist the wire together and ensure a bit of clearance between the wire and the bale. Repeat for all six wire guides. Pro tip, before ejecting your bale, check that your bale eject system is free of debris by pushing the white roller on the left side of your ram. If the white roller moves cleanly back and forth, then there is no debris on the back of the ram. Place a pallet at the base of the machine for your bale to eject onto. Ensure both orange lights are solid and stand to the side of the baler. Press both orange buttons at the same time to begin ejecting your bale. Transport your bale using a forklift. Now that we've completed the basic operation of the baler, we are going to go through the indicator lights. Single green flash. Door is open or baler is in between cycles. Solid green. Door is closed or is currently in operation. Two green flashes. E-stop is activated. To deactivate E-stop, turn the E-stop and press the green button once. Three green flashes. Oil temperature is too hot. Four green flashes. Overload is tripped or motor is too hot. Five green flashes. PM is due. Six green flashes, all other errors. Call Brahmadan for tech support. If you have any questions about your baler, do not hesitate to contact Brahmadan at 312-261-6012, or if possible, you can contact your dealer.